Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about the report from Ian Rappaport from NFL Network, and he just broke the news that the New York Jets does not look like they'll be extending Marcus May as the deadline to extend someone that signed a franchise tag is indeed July 15th. So time is ticking, and according to Ian Rappaport, it does not look like it is going to happen. And here is the tweet from Ian. Despite the Jets publicly stating their efforts to, quote, relentlessly resign team MVP Marcus May, the team has not responded to his last proposal that the offer has been pulled off the table, sources say. With 48 hours until the tag extension deadline, no deal is expected. Sources adds, negotiations went south weeks before the tag deadline when the Jets offered Marcus May a deal that had an average per year 20% below the tag amount in 2021. May turned down New York Jets' offer and had significantly more uh, guarantees and money from teams heading into free agency. So obviously, the two sides, Joe Douglas in the front office and Marcus May and his team, did not butt heads and they did not uh, get a deal done. And this is definitely disappointing for the Jets, um, for me and Jets fans. I feel like Marcus May is a player that every single Jets fan want to hear long term. In this video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts of this report. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, is at NYJets underscore media. And if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's jump right in. So, as you guys know, I made multiple videos about Marcus May and how he should indeed be extended, and I'm hopeful that he will. Um, but at the same time, this report does not shock me. Uh, Joe Douglas is a guy that's not going to put a lot of money into a player who is about to turn 29, 30 years old, um, entering the back end of his career. Um, I've always said Joe Douglas is a GM that's not going to put a lot of money into a player that's a little old. Um, I feel like if Marcus May was 26 years old, this would be easy for Joe. He would easily lock him up. And not saying that 29 is like an old like old age, he's still in the prime of his career. Marcus May has been the best player on the defensive side of the ball besides Quinton Williams. Last year, he won team MVP, but thinking in Joe Douglas's perspective, he wants to have financial flexibility. He wants to build a youth team in the secondary, and he tried to give him a little less money to see if he would budge, and he does not want to give Marcus May over $12 million per year for three years, and he's going to be maybe injury prone down the line, or maybe he loses a step, because that's what has been the problem with the New York Jets previously. The previous regimes, they'd be giving contracts to guys like Trumaine Johnson, um, Le'Veon Bell, CJ Mosley. Hopefully, CJ Mosley will be good. He's still on contract for the Jets, and I feel like the year off last year is going to benefit CJ. But the previous Jets GMs used to give a lot of money to players in the back end of their careers, and it used to bite them in the butt. We knew what happened. Tremaine Johnson's contract. And I'm not comparing Tremaine Johnson to Marcus May right now, but we did give we did give Tremaine Johnson a contract when he was 28, 29 years old, and then we know what happened. If we gave Marcus May this big contract. Um, who knows what happened? I'm just thinking in the Jets' perspective right now. I'm not saying if it was the right or wrong decision. I'm just keep, you know, thinking openly. But what this tells me is the Jets definitely wanted Marcus May here on a cheaper deal. Um, the franchise tag was around $11, $12 million. So the, the Jets gave him around a 20% discount. If you do the math, it's around probably 9 or $10 million per year. And Marcus May did not want to sign that contract because there were teams in free agency that were going to give him a lot more money than that and a lot of more guaranteed money. So it doesn't make sense for Marcus May... In and his agent to sign that extension if they felt like they could have got more money from someone else. And Joe Douglas is trying to build this team for the long term. Because if you guys remember, we're not going to win the Super Bowl this year. I'm sorry to break the news. I'm sorry to be a spoiler. But we're not built to win the Super Bowl this season. This Jets team is trying to build and have a foundation for the future. And we have a window for the next three to five years where I feel like we're going to be very competitive and very good. And if we did give Marcus May a $13 million annual year per year contract like he's looking for, who knows what it would have done to us uh, in our cap flexibility in the future seasons. Joe Douglas has a long-term vision for this team, and maybe Marcus May is not in his plans in terms of giving him that type of contract. Obviously, Joe Douglas wanted May here uh, long-term. He just did not want to give him a lot of money. And Joe Douglas is a, is a GM that I'm learning that you're not going to get paid a lot of money if you're in the back end of your career. And he feels like the prime already is in the past. I do feel like Marcus May is in the prime of his career right now. I do believe that. He's coming off his best career year. 
but the reality of Marcus May is he was a very old player when we drafted him. I think he was like 23, 24 years old when he came out of the draft from Florida. So, and right when we drafted him, I'm like, wow, I don't really know if Marcus May is going to be here past his rookie contract, no matter if he's good or not, because after his rookie deal's up, he's going to be 28, 29 years old. And here we are today. So leave a comment down below your thoughts of the report. Do you think that there's a, still a chance? There's still 48 hours to get it done, but according to Ian Rappaport, it does not look like it's going to be done. I'm definitely a little disappointed. I love Marcus May. I wanted him here long term. He's the leader of the secondary. He's been the clutch guy in the fourth quarter to lock down wide receivers downfield. And he's the, you know, he's a leader of the secondary. It's de definitely disappointing as a Jets fan, but I definitely understand the reason why they're not going to give him that big contract that he's looking for just because of the age and where he, you know, the trajectory of his career. So leave a comment down below your thoughts. Like the video if you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.